All right, everybody, check out what I just found in my old house. So we've been cleaning up in here and under a pile of stuff, this was here. I had no idea that this was even in the house and I thought that it is just a very cool piece. So it's an old sewing machine. I don't know how old it is. Um, it's a foot operated sewing machine, so no motor on it. You can see the mechanism work down there. If I can get the, or did it stop on me? It stopped on me. I think the belt's probably jammed in there. Yeah, we'll look at that later, but you guys can see how it works. Um, so no idea how old this is. Um, this is the new... Can't see that. Let's put some light on it. New Florence. New Florence sewing machine. It's got cool detail work on it. So what a neat find. Legitimately, no idea that this was in here. And uh, super cool surprise. So there's stuff in all of these drawers that are on it. And I thought we'd take a look at what's in there. Some old Italian Fruit of the Loom thread there. Buttons galore. Crayola crayon. A little porcelain doll's head. It's pretty neat. Oh wow, an old glass syringe that was repurposed into a kind of dangerous thread holder there. Let's look down in this drawer, if we can get it out. This one back in there. Needle book. A neat piece right there and more buttons look at that detail work right there that's beautiful and this side is obviously not fared very well at all it got some water damage obviously when the roof was leaking Got, you know, creepy doll's head. Tons of those in here. Copyright 1960 Grove Tex Industries, 5,000 in play money. Let's see what this is. All right, got a newspaper clipping here. Let's see what it's from. It's 
so women's section with doesn't look like we're gonna get a date or anything on it there Well, there we go. Let's see. Re-elect Dr. D.T. Walton Jr. Bibb County Commissioner Post 3, November 5th. No date on it. But still, kind of neat. These are needles, Chicago, the Boy Needle Company, Chicago. More buttons, lots and lots of buttons, A little thimble. Some kind of pretty piece. Alright, doesn't look like there's too much else exciting in there. We could get it, put it back in our creepy doll head. And that. There we go. Set that back in there just like it came out. And try to put it back in here where it won't, you know, fall out. Like I said, that side right there is really, really rough. You can see it. All right, let's try to get this. This drawer is going to be harder to get out. Let me set the camera down. And of course, this is in as just found condition. I cannot believe I didn't know that this was in the house. And uh, super cool. Super cool. Ah, oh, there we go. All right, so I think a mouse probably, because obviously we got some mouse activity. Mouse probably drugged that. Uh, bag in here So not much good at all in this drawer what even is that Now nah, just threads and mouse nest in there if There was anything exciting in here. It's been Eat by the mice Uh, just a button. Yeah, we'll just dump that one away. But yeah, here we go. Found a sewing machine in the house. Didn't have any idea it was here. And I think it's just a super cool find. Um, obviously, we were using it up until the 60s. Oh, look at this. So I always say that the bird farm provides, and it's not picky when it provides. I was going to say, we had a trash can bag to put this stuff in, but uh, not, not really in good shape there. It, you know, it'll, it'll provide for us, but it's just not picky about it. Put the rest of the mouse dust on outside, and I mean, it worked out. All right, so here we have it. Pretty cool sewing machine here. Um, again, the new Florence sewing machine. So I did a quick Google search and it looks like this thing is most likely from the late 1800s, I'm thinking 1880s, more than likely. For one, some of the detail work on it, probably. If you guys know, definitely leave me a comment and let me know how old this sewing machine is. I think it's just an amazing piece. Uh, very proud to have found it in the house um, here. It looks like this company went out of business in 1916. So we know it is at least that old. But some of the design work um, I've seen on it, it, I think 1880s is probably a good guess. 1890s maybe, or again, as early as the 1900s. Pretty neat. I'm really ecstatic to have found it. Got to get some oil on that to make all of this. Oh, there it goes. There we go. 
Let's see. Got the belt out, so there it is. Super cool. Super cool indeed. So let me know in the comments if you know anything about this sewing machine. Would love to know more about it and let me know what you think of it. Had no idea it was in the house here. Super excited to find it. All right, well, there you have it. My new sewing machine. Sorry the lighting was a little bit low in here. Um, if you guys want to see this again in better lighting, drop me a comment. Let me know. Um, but a uh, super cool find in here. Like I said, I had no idea it was here. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.